Alright, alright, shalom, yashra, Allah, peace, Israel, first and foremost. As always, kaholo yamla malak yahaw bahashem, yahaw shah bahashem ukakadash. Double honor to our elders, apostle of GMS, whole law, in peace and blessings. To the hopefully like Akiyam that are out there pushing this gospel, this doctrine of Yahaw Bahashem Yahaw Shai in righteousness, in the Sevedin and in the Shuf, and also Shalom, Warbrakatham. Peace and blessings to the brethren and a few sisters that may be tuning and listening, learning, studying under the vibration of Yahaw Bahashem Yahaw Bahashem Yahaw Kakadash, and once again toward Yahaw Yahaw Shai for allowing us to be able to understand this good news. Uh, this uh, wonderful gospel. Uh, pretty much, man, you know, this the stage is uh, being established. The second lockdown is coming. It's uh, that's the time we're in right now. I mean, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, the whole world right now is on fire. Uh, the French are getting the ass kicked in Africa. You know, uh, uh, there is a revolution that's taking place. A transition is being. Uh, going on right now you know um whenever there's a uh 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 a kid whenever there's a kingdom uh 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 being uh thrown down you know the kingdom is being built up right there's always chaos uh confusion there's always upheaval tensions and that's exactly what's going on in the earth as you, as you speak man you know tension people are on edge man you know and uh and um uh, it's it gotta get worse uh it gotta get worse before it can get better because uh, that's exactly what it is you know uh matter of fact uh, uh let's uh let me bring quick precept uh acts chapter 14 14 verse 22 very right quick um acts uh 14 verse uh Matter of fact, matter of fact, before I said that, let's get, let's get that real quick. Uh, the path of the just. Let's get that real quick. Uh, uh, that's in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. And it says, um, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more. Under the perfect day, and that's exactly like what it is, man. As you can see, these uh, prophecies are no longer tearing. Now they are in your face. Now they are up close and personal. You know, like I said before, the whole world right now is in chaos. It's an upheaval. You know, our uh, 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 nations are rising against nations. These are uh, African nations are seeking the economic uh, independence from uh, from France. You know. The French are getting the ass kicked in Africa. Uh, 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 Russia is being heavily invested economically, as well as China in Africa, trying to kick the French out in the Americans, and that's gonna cause um, global global chaos uh, 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 worldwide, man. And these prophecies are no longer tearing. Now they are. Uh, uh, in your face and the closer and closer we get to the great day of Yahweh Hashem Shai the more and more these things are going to become evident you know um let's get that real quick on second edges um uh, the end is manifest the end is manifest uh let's get that real quick um it's manifest is it the second address nine uh second address chapter nine verse five second address chapter nine verse five and it says um uh, a uh, matter of fact um uh, matter of fact right 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 verse uh matter of fact from the top right he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and it says, uh, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, we shall have told thee before, then shall thou one understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes 
in all parts of the people in the world, then shall the one understand that the Most High speak of those things from the day that were before thee, even from the beginning. And that's exactly what it is. That's the ammo of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, he declared things from the beginning. A prophecy. That's how the Lord uh, uh, works. That's how the Lord makes his words come to be known by using the prophets. Matter of fact, let's get um uh, very quick Isaiah 46 verse 10. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Isaiah 42 verse 9. Let's get Isaiah 42 verse 9 real quick. Isaiah 42 verse 9. Um, but hold, though former things are come to pass and new things do I declare. But for the spring forth, I tell you of them. And that's exactly what it is. That's how Yahweh Shem Shai uh, works, man. He spoke things into existence, you know, makes things uh, happen out of, out of nowhere. Isaiah 46, verse 10. And it says, uh, Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are, that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And that's exactly what it is. You know, even though the world right now is upside down, it guess what? It's for the pleasure of Yahweh Hashim Shai. Everything that's happening globally, internationally, uh, is for the pleasure of the Lord, man. The Lord, Yahweh Hashim Shai. Is in complete control, man. You know, the scripture says, uh, a spell not fall from the ground without the authorization of Yahweh Shai. So the Lord is in complete control, you know. And he says, um, and he says, um, matter of fact, I didn't, I didn't finish with second Ezra 9, verse, um, uh, verse 4, right? And he says, um, then shall the well understand that the most high speak of those things from the days that were before thee. Even from the beginning, for like all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So right now, the end is being manifest, is being playing out right in front of our eyes, man. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and of an ending effect and signs. And that's exactly like what it is, man. Those are the signs to let you know we are at the the last day of the last days, man, you know, uh, uh, Esau getting chased up, chased uh, uh, down <sighs> in every continent. That's about, that's what's, that's what's about to come, man, you know. And he says, on uh, the next crisis is anyone's guess, but the government is ready to lock down the nations. And that's like what it is. We do no, no, no variant, you know, uh, we did a lesson yesterday, Rob Tizay Yaf and I, you know, we talk we go into it how this new variant is uh is going to be more devastating than the previous one, you know. And it says uh the whole the whole aim of practical politics is to keep the populace alarmed and hence clamorous to be led to safety. By an endless a series of hobgoblin, most of the imaginary, and that's what that's a quote, right? You know, hey man, that's what it is because, uh, ultimately, uh, ESO is all about uh, controlling the people, controlling the people mentally, uh, economically, any possible way that you can't think of, you know, he's gonna. Push the people in a corner is going to force people into submission. You know, it's gonna make it impossible for people to live, so that they're gonna have no other option but to to go back to go to the government for everything. You know, that's the that's the ultimate goal. And when the current kicks in, that was a perfect uh, opportunity for Esau to cut off the middle class because uh, when the Karama. When the Karagma get implemented, you're gonna have uh uh no 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 middle class. You're gonna have the have and the have not, and and the have not going to go to the have for the for the resources of all things, you know, for prophecy's sake, you know. And he says um, then the crowd, uh, pandemic hate, which the police state used to test it, test it out. It's lockdown power, you know, in light of the government tendency to exploit crisis, 
legitimate or manufactured and capitalized on the nation heightened emotion, confusion and fear as the, as a means of extending the reach of the police state and that's exactly what it is. Confusion in in in, uh, in fear. Like like I said, fear is a control mechanism when people are fearing for, for their life, for their families, for their children, they're willing to do whatever they want. They they will go they will do things that would that previously that would, that they would not uh allow that that they would not commit man. They will do things that they would not uh, allow if they were in a comfortable state. And it says um and it says um one has to wonder what so called crisis it will declare next. It's a simple enough formula first you create the fear, then you capitalize on it by seeking power. You know, Ron Emanuel said a quote a while ago, never let, good, never let a good crisis go to waste. And that's how Esau works, man. He always uh, capitalizing on opportunities, you know. Frankly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what the nature of the next national emergency might be. Terrorism, civil unrest, economic collapse, or health scare, or the environment, and that's all. These are all these are prophecy, man. All these are prophecy. Economic collapse is coming, you know. Or uh, 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 civil unrest. The scripture talks about it, man. Second Ezra, the 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 sixteen fifteen uh fifteen, uh the sixteenth, in the sixteenth chapter, man. Talk about civil unrest, man. Economic collapse. You know the sixth chapter. You know all these things are prophecy, man, and these things are being playing out in front of your eyes, man. The Bible is being played out in front of people's eyes, but people are too busy to to see it. And that's exactly why, when I have recluse, people are are gonna be cut off God. They ain't gonna know. They ain't gonna know what to do. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna know how to move, man. And it says, um, as long. Has allowed the government to lock down the nation and justify all manner of tyranny in the so called name of national security, and that's exactly what it is. You know, when that when the 9 11 kicks in, you know, um, that lead uh, to the Patriot Act 1 and 2, people was willing to give away their freedom. The same thing is about to happen uh, very soon. When the second lockdown kicks in, you know, the first one was a test run, and it put fears into people. To so the second one, people are gonna be more hesitant, so it's not gonna make have to make it even worse, so that people can comply, man, you know. And it says, um, uh, and it says, um, kill the emergency state. Uh, it says, um, terrorist attack. Mass shooting, unforeseen economic collapse, loss of functioning political and legal order, purposely domestic resistance or insurgency, pervasive, pervasive public health emergency, and catastrophic natural and human disaster. The government has been anticipating and preparing for such things, for such crises for years now. And that's exactly what it is. You know, we always goes into it. How these devils, they they work through gradualism. You know, Esau, whenever he he want to make a big move against the people, he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't go into it right on. He takes step, man. He takes step to get the people conditioning to the to to get the people conditioning to it, man. And that's how he he is, man. That's the that's the characteristic of a serpent. You know. To be subtle, you know, this devil is subtle and wickedness. And it says, um, as David C. Unger write the leak, the New York Times, the New York Times, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness has given way to permanent crisis management, to policing the planet and fighting preventative, preventative wars and ideological containment. Containment usually 
on terrain chosen by and favorably and favorable to our enemies and that's exactly what it is man and it says a uh, limited government and constitutional accountability have been uh shouldered aside by the kind of imperial presidency our constitutional system was explicitly designed to prevent no you know i mean when 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 all hell be closed the constitution will, will, will be uh suspended man you know be suspended or no longer function uh, and he says uh you see once the government uh acquires and use authoritarian power to spy on citizens to carry out surveillance to transform its police forces into extension of the military to seize taxpayer funds to wage endless war to censor and silence the Senate to identify potential troublemaker to detain citizens without the process it does not voluntarily relinquish them so pretty much man all these things are gonna come to pass when society collapse man you ain't gonna have no rights you know uh, uh you know law with us you know it's a colossal uh identity extremist colossal uh uh you know uh he has a so like yeah uh it so has on uh, his list what he puts to middle of the lord on man you know uh, and he says on uh, indeed the story of the United States is a is a is a testament to the old adage that liberty uh, uh, decrees as government in in gov government and governmental bureaucracy grow. To put it another way, as government in expand, a uh, liberty contract. You know, and he says, uh, is this the is this in this way? Every crisis since the national early beginning has become make work opportunity for the government. So, man, I, it's, it's, it's a long article, man. I ain't gonna read all of it. You get the idea, man. The second lockdown is coming, it's inevitable, and um, um, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best, man. That's what's coming. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. I'll get that real quick. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. And it says, uh, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, in your house shall, shall give thee light. And it says, uh, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as false, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil and that's like what it is. Evil days is what's coming on the horizon. You know, things that you never thought was possible. Uh, people are going to be in shock because uh, they wouldn't believe that this is America. They wouldn't believe it. But hey, man, that's, hey, that's what it is. That's prophecy. It's about to be played uh, uh, in, front your, in front of your eyes, man, you know. Uh, let's get our last precepts out. Uh, Romans 13 verse 11 Romans 13 verse 11 and it says uh, in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believe and that's like what it is man and it's time for it for Israelites for you know uh, our people to to uh, uh, wake up you know spiritually because this place is on its way down this place is finished man yahweh yeah, shim shai yahweh yahweh is about to send this on yahweh shai to take down this place man in the scripture says on though join hand in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished so for our people who wants to join hand in hand wants to save these devils guess what they're gonna receive the punishment of an infidel you know and that's exactly like what it is, man. So that was a quick lesson, you know, Lord Wallen. It was edifying, you know. I wanna say, Bahashem Hau And a double honor to our elders, apostles, James, whole world. Until next time, shalom.